Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today, look what I got in. I got the Camp Chef flat top grill, griddle, and gas grill. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing out, I'm gonna set it up, and then I'll do a walk around when I get everything put together. So, I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, I know, I didn't do the whole unboxing and assembly video because one of the things is when I put things together that are any more complicated than just taken out of the box, I tend to use words that aren't very nice. I really didn't know how long this was going to take me, and it really only took me about an hour to, to uh, put this all together. But uh, I do want to do a walk around on this grill because I've been anticipating getting this thing for a long time now, and I'm really glad I got it. I haven't cooked anything on it yet. I just put it together last night. It's just been sitting here. Let's do a quick walk around of this. I just want to show you a few of the things that I really love about this compared to not just the Blackstone, but uh, there's other knockoffs out there of the Blackstone in this. Um, I guess Blue Rhino has one, and there's some other cheaper brands out there that are being sold by some of the mass market um, stores. But first of all, as you can see, there's two shelves in the bottom. So you got two levels of storage if you need it. It's got four burners, of course. Each individual one has its own um, lighter. So each individual burner, you can light each individual one separately. I know on the Camp Chef, that's this size. It has one single igniter over here and you have to light the one burner and then you daisy chain them down. This actually has individual ignition on every single burner. So I can just turn the one on in the middle here, and turn these two on and leave those two off or you know, different cooking zones or what have you. They also have this hole in here where you can actually take uh, a, a match and light it if the igniter is not working. The grease cup is right here in the front. And one of the things I don't like about the um, Blackstone, and I'll kind of show you, and it's like this on the bigger model too. I have a 22 inch Blackstone that I've been using. If you've seen it on some of my other videos. But if you see where the grease goes on the Blackstone, it goes in the back, which I guess it works okay, I guess. But um, I used to work in restaurants pretty much, you know, my first 12 years of working, I worked in restaurants. So I was always, I'm always used to scraping the stuff forward into a channel and then pushing it down into a, uh, into a uh, collector. So it's kind of hard to push the stuff back, especially when you're cooking. Um, also, if this was up against the wall or something, it'd be really hard to get to that to clean it out. Fortunately, I've had it, it's in a little uh, you know, outdoor kitchen here that I can get behind there fairly easy and clean it out. Um, especially if it's a 22 inch, I can reach behind there. But if it was on a bigger model, I probably uh, would have a hard time reaching that uh, grease trap every once in a while. So, okay, another thing about this that I really like is these shelves. Um, shelves each shelf has a towel rack on it so you can hang stuff not just a towel but you can hang stuff on hooks on it but they also fold down so if you were having to move this around or you just needed space um, you could fold down both shelves and then not have to detach them and then put it right back in and it locks back in place so I like that feature quite a lot the grease trap on the camp chef you can see is in the front here and it does have this big channel that you can collect all your debris and ga and uh, grease and all your all your junk 
goes down into that hole, right into this grease catcher here, and the grease catcher comes right off, slides right off the uh, shell, slides right back. And I have not heard anybody complain about the grease leaking out or leaking anywhere where it's not supposed to go. I know that the Blackstone used to have that kind of issue on there as well. The leveling feet, some people complain that it doesn't have casters, it just has the two wheels and then two leveling feet. If you're going to be moving it around a lot, I guess I could understand wanting the casters. But my, my grill is going to stay right here where it is. And I'm more concerned about being able to level the grill. And I did put a level to this and made sure that my surface was level. Because one thing you don't want to have when you're cooking on a griddle, especially if you're cooking eggs or anything where you have to put oil down, you don't want it all running down to one side, you know, or sliding around. Um, and like I said, you're cooking eggs or something and they all slide to one side, you don't want that. So you can make, you can make sure it's level by using those leveler legs. This was a real big deal to me because I've had this issue with the, the Blackstone. If you see right here between the uh, cooking surface and where the flame is, you have these um, barriers here. And in the front, the same. Where it's really hard for wind to get in there and affect the flame. And I've had that issue with this Blackstone a lot because it's really it's wide open and you can see all the way across and what happens is when it's windy out that wind will blow and affect that flame and it will cool down your grill it'll make it so you can't get it to uh, get very hot because of that and if you've watched any of the other videos on these you know people They've made things to kind of block that, block the sides in the front. They put aluminum foil, they make makeshift um, little barriers, but the Camp Chef already has that on there. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, another thing, if you look at the Blackstone, you see it's already got some rusting spots. And I seasoned this thing pretty good when I got it. This is only about three or four months old. And I seasoned it really well, and I season it every time I cook on it. But as you can tell, it's really hard to keep this thing from rusting. Because they come not seasoned. You have to season them yourself. So it's really hard to keep that thing from rusting up. Whereas the Camp Chef comes pre-seasoned. You don't have to worry about doing a seasoning uh, cook or anything on it before you can start using it. You can start using it right out of the box. Um, there's another thing about uh, the Camp Chef versus the Blackstone <clears throat> and I think it had to do with where and how the gas can sits. I think it sits on the other side on the uh, Blackstone and it actually sits in a spot where it's hard to actually reach it <clears throat> and um, take it off but I don't want to talk about that because I don't have a Blackstone 36 inch to compare it to, but I know that for the fact some of the same things that I don't like about the 22 inch Blackstone carry over to the 36. The openness underneath here is one of the big ones. The um, trough going in the back where it's kind of harder to get all that debris to the back. <clears throat> Another thing I didn't like about this is um, the regulator on here was kind of really, it would shut me down a lot if I tried to use the big propane tank. I ended up using the smaller propane tanks on it because it would uh, didn't seem to choke back on the gas as much on the smaller ones than it did on the big propane tank. I did figure out how to get around that by turning the burner on before trying to light it, before turning the uh, gas on, so that seemed to work, but it's kind of like a workaround. <clears throat> One of the other things that I love about this Camp Chef, and I don't know how much I'll use this feature at all, but it's there in case I need it. You can take this grill top off really easy, and underneath it is the uh, 
whole gas grill surface here. So it's got grates, it's got the heat, heat deflectors here to uh, use it as a, as a gas grill. As a, I can cook burgers, steaks, whatever I want on it. And it's really easy to take that flat top off. Just comes right off, come, puts it right back on. <clears throat> and it's got another grease cup underneath in the middle to collect any grease that might um, happen when you're um, using that as a, as a gas grill. So that's it. I mean, that's a lot of the main features that I like about this. Um, can't wait to start cooking on it. I looked, did a lot of research on these before I um, decided I wanted this. That's why I tested out the Blackstone. And I can't wait to start uh, showing you guys what I'm going to cook on it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, got some information out of this. Check out, there's a bunch of different uh, Camp Chef versus Blackstone comparison videos on YouTube. Tom Horseman channel has a really good, really thorough one. You know, he does a good uh, unboxing of both of them together and points out the uh, benefits, shortfalls of, of both of them. So check those out. I'll put an iCard above to Tom's video. Also, make sure you uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. I'm going to have some great guests coming up soon. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Thank you.